How do religious experiences influence the perception of sexuality? What are the most common myths about sexuality in old age? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Religious experiences can influence the perception of sexuality by establishing moral norms that impact attitudes towards sex. They can generate feelings of guilt or inhibition, but the influence varies depending on personal interpretation. Common myths about sexuality in old age include the misconception that sexual interest decreases, that sexual activity is only for young people, and that concerns about performance do not affect older adults. In reality, sexuality can be healthy and satisfying in old age, challenging these stereotypes. Academic research. The Kama Sutra is a subject of study in academia, where its historical, cultural, and sociological aspects are analyzed to better understand its impact on contemporary society. Addressing female sexuality. Unlike many historical texts on sexuality, the Kama Sutra dedicates significant space to exploring the pleasure and sexual needs of women, making it an important reference for understanding female sexuality today. Age and prevalence. Although more common in older men, erectile dysfunction can affect men of all ages, including young men. It is estimated to affect at least 10% of men at some point in their lives. Anorgasmia and chronic illnesses. Chronic medical conditions, such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and cardiovascular disease, can affect blood circulation and nerves, contributing to anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and communication with partner. Open and honest communication with the partner about sexual needs and preferences may be crucial in overcoming anorgasmia and improving sexual satisfaction in the relationship. Anorgasmia and performance anxiety. Sexual performance anxiety, fear of failure, or pressure to satisfy the partner can contribute to anorgasmia by interfering with the ability to relax and enjoy the moment. Anorgasmia and sexual therapy. Sexual therapy is a common treatment option for anorgasmia as it can help identify and address the underlying causes of the disorder as well as improve communication and intimacy in the relationship. Body discovery. Masturbation can help women explore and better understand their own bodies, their erogenous zones, and what provides them sexual pleasure. Celebration of diversity. The Kama Sutra acknowledges the diversity of desires, preferences, and human bodies, fostering an inclusive attitude towards sexuality that values the uniqueness of each individual and relationship. Changes in sexuality with age. Sexuality can change throughout life due to factors such as aging, physical and mental health, and hormonal changes. It is important to adapt to these changes and find new ways to enjoy sexual intimacy. Changing preferences. Women's preferences for sexual positions may change over time, depending on factors such as age, sexual experience, and changes in body and health. Clitoral stimulation. For many women, clitoral stimulation is essential for reaching orgasm. Foreplay can focus on gently stroking the clitoris, using sex toys designed for this area, or oral sex techniques. In some rural communities in West Africa, theatrical performances and puppet shows are held to educate young people about sexual and reproductive health topics using creative and participatory methods. Comprehensive sexual education. Comprehensive sexual education addresses a wide range of topics related to sexuality, including anatomy, reproduction, healthy relationships, consent, contraception, and prevention of sexually transmitted diseases with the aim of promoting healthy and safe sexuality. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women relax, increase sensitivity, and connect more deeply with their body and sexual sensations. Control exercises. 
Control exercises, such as the stop-start technique, can help men learn to delay ejaculation and improve control over their sexual response. Cultural differences. What is considered a fetish can vary across cultures. For example, in Japan, cosplay culture, dressing up as fictional characters, is widely accepted and can be a way to express sexual fantasies. Cultural influence on masturbation. Attitudes toward female masturbation can vary depending on cultural and sexual education received, with some societies being more open and others more conservative about it. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. Definition. Premature ejaculation is defined as the inability to voluntarily control ejaculation during sexual activity, resulting in ejaculation that occurs too early and interferes with sexual satisfaction for both the individual and their partner. Diversity in sexual orientations. There are numerous sexual orientations beyond heterosexuality, including homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many more. Diversity in sexual orientations is natural and valid. Diversity in sexual preferences. Sexual preferences vary widely among individuals and may include a wide range of practices and fantasies. What is pleasurable for one person may not be for another, and all sexual preferences should be respected as long as they are consensual and safe. Emerging STDs. In addition to well-known STDs such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, new STDs are emerging, such as the Zika virus and lymphogranuloma venereum, LGV, posing additional challenges for public health. Experimentation with temperatures. Some women find experimenting with different temperatures during foreplay exciting, such as using ice or warm cloths to alternate between sensations of cold and heat on the skin. Exploration of sexuality. Open relationships can provide a safe space for people to explore their sexuality more fully and satisfactorily without feeling constrained by traditional norms. Exploration of taboo fantasies. Foreplay provides a safe space to explore sexual fantasies considered taboo or socially unacceptable, allowing women to express their most intimate desires without fear of judgment. Fantasies of sex in public places. Some people experience sexual fantasies related to sex in public places, such as parks, public bathrooms, or even public transportation. These fantasies may be linked to the thrill of risk and the possibility of being discovered. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.